Petapetria is a really cool game set in a cyberpunk Poland where we play as a stealthy assassin who loves her pet cactus. However, one of the things that really stood out to me on my first playthrough was just how bad my computer ran it. My computer, which has run games like Dark Tide and Stray with no problem, couldn't handle this retro type Polish game. And that really made no sense to me. So weeks later when a member of the community reached out to me and helped me figure out how to get Unity Explorer to work in this title, I was presented with the root of the issue. Parapetia renders practically the entire map all at once. And that trying to fix that is the focus of today's video. So let me again restate, this game is great and I rather adore it. However, the issue of mass rendering really drags it down and I honestly don't think it would be too hard to fix. I don't say this as a random YouTuber who has no idea what he's talking about, rather as someone who has done extensive work now in modding another Unity title and seeing how it handled its code. To fix its Parapetria's code would require the devs to set up a toggle that detects when players enter a certain area, and when it does, it will deactivate some objects and activate others. Perry has already shown in one part of its code that it knows how to do this, with the lights we see in the apartments being untoggled when we are far away from them, and toggled when we get closer. If it's so easy, why don't I or other modders just code it ourselves? Well, we can try, but Perry's code has a series of nuances that make it honestly rather unpleasant to do anything with. First of all, Perry's code is rendered, all of it is rendered as a direct object child of the scene. In plain speak, this means that not many objects are bundled under others, which means if we want to enable or disable objects, we can't really do it in groups and rather must do it one object at a time. This issue is made worse by the names of those objects. Rather than having usable, easy to understand names that we can easily sort into what should and shouldn't be rendered in a moment, the objects in Perry often have random names like cube or new game object that provide zero information as to what they do or mean. This issue combines with the lack of grouping to make modding Perry's code honestly a nightmare at times. However, just because it's a nightmare doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I'm going to try my best to do what I can do to set up optimizations where I can to increase the performance of this title. This process will be done in my Discord link below with live build versions being published on Nexus whenever we can cobble something together that works. A great member of the community, LF, has volunteered to help me with this, and if you'd like to see what help you can do, feel free to join below and let's just see what we can do. But I do also want to add, Parapetra is in a demo stage right now, so extensively modding a demo isn't the greatest of an idea. If this project is something lots of people are willing to put work into, it's something we can do rather quickly, so it isn't a bad idea then. However, if it's something we spend hours and hours on in a demo, it, it just might not be worth it. But I figure I should add this. To the devs of Perry, I honestly don't think you'll watch this video. But if you do, know I adore your creation, and I think it's a work of art. And I know setting up these toggles, grouping the objects, and renaming hundreds of objects isn't going to be an easy process. And you're not likely to do it just because some code-happy YouTuber told you to do it. And honestly, nor do I expect you to do it. I get how difficult game development can be. But if you do decide to do this, I promise it will greatly help the optimization of the title and make it so so many more people can truly enjoy the world that you've created. But with that, that's all I've got for today's video. If you like this project, be sure to like the video, and if you'd like to see more projects like this, be sure to subscribe, it greatly helps. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.